Hey there, everybody. Are you ready to finish BS The Legend of Zelda Ancient Stone Tablets? Darn tootin'. Sure. I'm ready whenever you are. What a wonderful and rousing and amazing and exciting introduction, you guys. I'm not I giving... thought it was quite entertaining. Like... Got something in my throat. I'm enthralled. <laughs> oh, look, here comes Zelda. Yes. She actually going to be doing something? Oh yeah, we've got a lot on our plate for this final chapter of the game. We'll be doing this in five whole segments, and Zelda will be coming with us for this first one. Is it just me, or do the sprites look smaller? Or maybe I'm just sitting too far away from the screen? Eh, probably. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You haven't hooked up your big fancy new monitor yet. No, it's all sitting in a box outside still. I don't know. I must have heard crashing into that. I don't understand why you can crash into one headstone in the entire game, but all the other ones you have to push them real hard. That one just gets stuck. I mean, can you imagine this yourself just running over each and every every tombstone there? You crack your skull open. Now something weird happened uh, with the last save, so for, somehow I lost my tempered sword, and I had to go back to that dungeon to get it. Nice job. Way to go. But I've got everything now, so let's go inside. Oh boy, another dungeon with my least favorite music. Yeah, that is pretty boring music. That's not as cool as the music we were uh, listening to in our intermission video. That was much better dungeon music. Yeah. When this was... When I was playing this new with my dad... This music got so grating after a while because we got stuck in dungeons all the time. So we just turn it down. And so when we got to the dark world, we were expecting more of the same, and we were surprised to find that it was actually different. And, and better. I forgot to watch that intermission video, so should I just pretend that I have watched it? You yeah. didn't miss anything. Okay, I'll, I'll just... Yeah... Yeah. Just pretend you listen to some jazz. And I'm not a liar. There, I fooled them all. Nice dungeon. Since, uh, since I'm gonna level with you guys, since the dungeons in this particular segment are the smallest dungeons in the game for some reason, I won't be visiting many secret rooms. Besides, I'm, I'm horribly rich. Well, considering it's a nice dungeon we're dealing with here, maybe it's for the best. The... The Ice Palace and Link to the Past was honestly really, just really tedious overall. So I think I'm not alone in despising that particular dungeon over all of the other ones. It's got the most backtracking of them all. Oh god, once you just know it all, just... Actually, I think thematically it's my favorite dungeon because it's got icicles, it's got the dungeon music, which oh, this yeah. dungeon doesn't have. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely very interesting to... Uh, it's aesthetically, but just structurally, it's just, it's, you just have to go all over the place with the entire dungeon back and forth. It's just really, it just takes a long time to figure it out, is all. I've just decided that I just beat level six first and come back with my magic wand that creates blocks. Why well, make life difficult on myself? Yeah, yeah I'll end up doing that too. If you yeah. uh, know the dungeon inside and out, you can uh, fix the. Um, block puzzle on your way to get the blue mail, and then when you come out of that room, you're right where you need to be. Yep, not, a, not all of us are as smart as you, easy. Actually, I, I'm not sure I ever figured that out uh, myself, just after watching so many uh, speed runs and let's plays, I've kind of got it down. I like how Zelda seems to be immune from everything. Like those, uh... The skeletons just walked into her and nothing happened. Yeah, and the snake statues are shooting right through her. I'd like some of that invincibility. Or is she even really there? Touché! Ghost! Oh, hey, look, it's a boss. That was the it. Worst pun of a name ever. What, cold stare? Well, not really a pun, but. Cold stare. Yeah. This one doesn't quite have that same ring to it as Moldorm or Argus does. I don't know if these bosses had names until you did your Let's Play of the game a year or two ago. 
I think that more than half the regular monsters' names are on that uh, Let's Play. And also, there isn't really much of a digest on them. Hooray, we just got another stone tablet. High five, you guys. All right! Oh, did this shield just turn gold? Yeah, that's... I'm not sure if that's a time effect or a bug. Mm -hmm. I was playing through um, the DS Zelda a while ago, just after the first segment, and I noticed that it's just sort of a glitch where it assumes you already have the mirror shield on you for some reason. Yeah, that's probably it. I should note right now, I've added a patch to this chapter of the game that allows you to get the magic cape. The magic cape is an item you can use in the original game, but you can't ever find it. You have to cheat. Really? Yeah, so this patch adds the cape. And it this cave is related to that area where you find the cape. I'm trying to remember if I ever actually used the cape in Link to the Past. Well, there's that one piece of art, though, but yeah, it's just basically a watered-down cane of Burna. I'm not really sure that I've ever collected all the pieces of heart, either, now that I think about it. I think there's always one on the uh, Dark World Death Mountain that uh, many times I just didn't bother to get because it was such a pain in the butt. And that the, the like huge hollow piece of spikes? Yes, I think that's it. What's the point in even collecting pieces of heart that late in the game? You've already got 20 or, you know, hearts or however many. Well, For completionists. if you were really bad at beating the game like I was when I was like seven years old, then you might need them all. Well, yeah, First but for oh, you sorry. to get that one piece of heart, you could just go buy a bottle of potion and refill all of your hearts. I guess that's how I looked at it. Maybe just one of those people who just takes level 7 after, uh, before level 5. Imagine taking on Trinix just with uh, the green tunic. Ugh. Oh, I tried that once. I almost died. I don't think that I've ever done the levels out of order that bad. I think I've always done level 7 last. It's really nasty if you don't have the double magic meter. Ugh. Oh, I... I... Were you saying Big Road? I was saying uh, that I'd never used the cape because invincibility is for pussies and women. Huh. Ouch. That's right. I, I'm 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 ragging on Princess Zelda now. See, she needs invincibility because otherwise she wouldn't be able to survive the trials or tribulations of the ice dungeon. Ouch. That's harsh. Like, in order for her to, to be worth anything, she has to transform into she or Tetra. Otherwise, all she's good at is getting kidnapped. I'm just stating the simple truth here, guys. Well, when she's in her usual princess outfit, that's probably um, pretty hard to get around in, but she, well, she... I also don't think it has much armor, either. She is at least fleet-footed enough to keep up with Skippy when he runs around all over the place. And let's face facts. It's, uh, okay. The only game where Zelda has ever done anything worthwhile is Wand of Gamelon. Am I correct in that? Nope, Spear Tracks. Well, yeah, but I haven't played that, so it doesn't count. Ah. Uh, so it's the only game you've played that she's done anything worthwhile. Although I've never played Wand of Gamelon either. I've just seen other folks play it. Your evidence has been rejected, sir. <laughs> Edgeworth is most displeased. This is an interesting puzzle. That oh, was wow. Interesting. Was that was actually kind of clever. But all for a worthless piece of heart. Oh. The only time the King of Samaria gets any uses for something you don't even need. Would you say that uh, pieces of heart are a better idea than perhaps... An old man who gives you a choice between a heart container that gives you more life and one that takes it away. I'm just putting that out there. One that takes away a, a heart, you mean? Yeah, and you can't tell which the one it is. Your life. You can't tell which one it is until you pick it up. 
I, rem- I know the mugging guys in the second quest of the original Zelda, but I didn't know that they gave you the choice between a real heart and a fake one. Well, they don't, but it could be done. Are you? Right I think for- that's just a dick move. <laughs> I'm still surprised Octopi didn't go for the zero heart challenge. <laughs> Zero heart challenge? Is that a real thing? You can do it in Zelda Classic. It doesn't have that bug where you uh, um, can't go lower than three hearts. So what happens if you're running around with zero hearts? Is just everything is a one-hit kill? 